Hi everyone, welcome to a very short and precise session on Python comments. Like in this session, we will learn about the single line comment, multiple line comments, doxing comments, uh, difference between doxing and the comment. Well, what is the single line comment? It is present above the code where we write our code with a hash, starting with the hash or after my code will give hash like this. Suppose we have our, so we want to print something like how to write a comment in Python. And if we give hash above that and this is some message we want to print here, then this is how it will be. So if we execute this two line, only my second line will be executed. My first line, anything after hash will be omitted by the Python interpreter. So it will not be taken into consideration. This is a normal way of commenting and this is the way of like inline comment. I can print, but I have given the inline message, whatever comment I can, I want to give. Whether hash will be, if I, if I want to print something like hash inside the print. So you can see Python comment, Python interpreter will not do anything if we print it inside a uh, like printed statement. It will give inside a printed statement. It will just treat it as a normal string. What if I want to give a comment on the multiple lines? Suppose I have the value here a is equal to 5 and b is equals to 10 and we want to print a plus b. Then in that case what we can say What we need to do is we have to give hash in all the lines if we want to exceed it, uh, the comments to more than one line. So in this way, if you execute this, only my value, the output will be 15, rest everything will be ignored. Like this three, these four values will be ignored by our Python interpreter. What if I don't want to, like after some, I want to comment this, okay, my code. In that case, if you want to do it, you can give it manually hash in every line, hash 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 and it is commented and after some time i want to uncomment it in that case you have to just highlight this and press control one everything will be uncommented again if you want to comment it control one and this will be commented this is how you can comment or uncomment bulk code instead of doing line by line for each comment you want to comment or uncomment if you want to for a multi-line comment this is one of the easiest method like Control plus one and it will be commented or uncommented. So as per this single line comment, it is present above the code or with the inline code. And what is multi line? It will have hash character in every line of the comment. Okay. Now what is the talk string? Uh, what I have used here, right? Instead of this, I will uncomment this and even I can use. Okay. But this is not suggested to use talk string until unless you are using classes or objects because there it will play a big role. So documentation sync that are written within single code or double code and that access comment. Now the difference between a doc string and the comment is doxing is not omitted by Python interpreter while comment is omitted by Python interpreter. Yes, exactly. So if you execute this, just execute this piece of code and you can see the Python is also printing something. So we should use it whenever it is actually necessary to like uh, use doc string or use the hash comment now doc string is basically used for documentation and in some of the method we uh, click it will show the documentation can use the doc string with the method or with the classes and objects and how we can show this will actually help the users uh, like whenever you are we are using the scikit learn library or any other library okay if we click on the doc string we will get the information of the function and how do we achieve this okay so suppose i define my function define validate function suppose anything now you can give here like inline comment inline can say that validate function and print this now if you want to use the doc string what you do here you just give multi uh, this multi line comments you have to use three uh, single quotes or three double quotes and end with three single quotes or double quotes and then you just give anything here this purpose of this function is to validate the data so now if you execute this piece of code this is my validate function if i give here this is a validate function right what is the purpose the doc string how do i get this validate dot underscore underscore doc underscore underscore if you give this this will show you the purpose of this function is to validate the data and that is what i want to mean about doc string is basically used for documentation Okay, and it's a good practice to uh, create documentation, especially if you create the documentation properly, then the life for the developers who use our 
you, after like you have uh, moved to other projects or you have moved your company it will be very very so documentation plays a big role in our software industry suppose if i want to show you with a classes and objects example okay I created a class and i'll give the object and then i have given the doc string which is multiple line and after that i have created two methods in my class one is to initialize uh, my init and, and the other is my method and in my method i have given a single line doc string comment okay so if i define my object now i'll simply define my object okay sorry see the object what i have created is my object right i'll say my ob my object dot underscore underscore doc underscore if i give this it will show you this is the performance class and this is coded on 29 July 2020. Uh, my object will show you the doxing of my class, the main class which I have given here. Now, if I want to view the doxing, uh, the, the comment attached with my method, then in that case, I have to give my object dot my method dot underscore underscore doc underscore. And then, so, this is the purpose of my method. So this is how we, we can, uh, we, this is how the Python comments a big role in our, uh, in our code development and in our documentation. Okay. So thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. And I'll see you in my next uh, video, which is related to the escape characters in Python. Thank you.